Jeffrey Evans has his own cleaning business, and to get to his appointments, he typically takes the subway, which he says makes him nervous at times. There's a lot of homelessness that's really relevant now, and it's every day, all day, in the trains. Transit riders' concerns about safety were part of the MTA's board meeting Monday morning. According to the agency, homeless people on the trains ranked high on the list of things that need to improve to increase rider satisfaction. The MTA conducted a survey last month which found that one in five people would take the subway more often if there were fewer people acting erratically. During the meeting, the chief safety officer said one of the current initiatives is concentrating on end-of-the-line stations. To put a robust joint team of professionals at key end of line stations where analysis shows we have the highest concentration of those needing services. But officials say riders put safety at the top of the list and with good reason. Just last night, police say an intoxicated man was harassing passengers at the Sterling Street subway station in Prospect Lefferts Gardens. Officials say he then got into a dispute with another man and that that man stabbed him. The victim was taken to a hospital in stable condition. More police officers, definitely. But there are funds within the city to have a police officer in each car. And a question about increasing police presence was actually asked during Monday's meeting. What have you done as the chief safety officer to encourage more MTA police officers? We have seen growth over the last uh, several years, particularly coming out of the pandemic of several hundred officers just in the last uh, since January. Some of them have been brand new officers. Some of them have been what we call rollovers coming from other police departments. Now, the NYPD says that overall transit crime dropped in June. There were 162 felonies reported compared to 219 from the month of May. Reporting from the Upper East Side, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.